Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Christmas Crafts YouTube Hop hosted by Sandy and Robin. For this hop, every single channel is going to be giving away a prize plus we have two amazing sponsors as you can see right now on the screen. So I hope that you can follow along. I'm going to have all of this information in the description box so please check it out. So for my project, here are some of the supplies that I use. Of course, I use the gorgeous images from Polka Doodles. So all of the printed paper that I use to cover up these boxes are from the Winnie Christmas Wishes. And then the actual Winnie images are from the Winnie Angel Collection. I'm going to have both of these collections in the description box so you can check them out. Also, from Polka Doodles, I use this die. This is a... A snowflake die and here's just one of the prints this is the box that I used so this is my project I altered a few of these boxes and I do have a video where I do have a video from last year that I also alter these boxes and these are still my favorite candy or chocolate they are so good you guys so if you never tried them you should and actually I found out from shopping at Tuesday morning because we all love shopping there and the dies that I used to layer these images were these right here and all of these are from Spellbinders so now let me share with you what I've created um, but before I get started if you don't have any of these chocolates you know at your local stores I also you can also buy them from Walmart but all it is you guys is a match a match box that's pretty much all it is but as you can see, the work has already been done for you. And just really quickly, you guys, um, I don't really measure this. All I did was just measure it, the width of this, which is about six and seven eighths. So I cut my paper at six and seven eighths and leave, you know, the height the same, which is eight and a half. And all I do, as you can see, I have the measurement right there. I add adhesive to both ends. Literally, that's all the cutting I do and the measuring then everything else is done by hand so I make that score mark as you can see and then I make the other score mark like that literally you guys it is this that easy to create these boxes and then I take off the adhesive of course you're going to do better than this and then you just alter it so let me share with you the project that I made Okay, so here is the first box, and all of the boxes are the same, you guys. The only thing that changes, of course, is the winning image and the pattern paper that I used. Again, this is all digital paper, and look how adorable this is. I don't think I shared with you what the candy looks like, and that is what it looks like. You can see, like I had mentioned, literally all it is is like a matchbox. So there's that one, and then there's this one. Look how adorable she is, you guys. And then I also want to share with you what I did with the inside of these other two that, you know, I've already eaten the candy, obviously. But look at that image, you guys. You can see all the layering. The, I have cut up two snow, no, one snowflake, cut it in half, added it to the side. I added some dimension. And then, so like I had mentioned, this paper, the Winnie's are from the Winnie Angels. And the paper is from the Winnie Christmas wishes and let me just share with you what I did to the inside of these look how cute this is so adorable you guys I love it so all I did was just layer a bunch of images and I obviously I cut it to size and then here is the fourth one and then these are just some um, embellishments I'm working on and that is what that one looks like look how beautiful I love it and that is that image all right so that is it for today you guys I hope you've enjoyed this video and don't forget to comment down below and subscribe to all of our channels also in the description box you will find all of the rules and information you're going to need plus all of the links now, because I am the last person in the hop, and if you've already watched everyone else's videos, thank you so much. But if this is your first stop, please go back to the very first 
person who is Rosa Kelly. Thank you so much for watching and hope you all are having an amazing day. Bye everyone.